What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to run through something that a lot of YouTubers have been doing recently and that is talking about outfits for spring. I know Fernando's done one and I know a few couple of YouTubers have done it as well. But I thought I'd just give you an, a few ideas that I like to do for spring because I feel like it's quite interesting to see what people are wearing during springtime and it kind of gives you influence and inspiration for your own outfits and I've taken it from many other YouTubers and ran with them for my own inspiration. So I've got three outfits today and they're kind of all contrasting. A couple of them are similar, two of them are very similar, but they're very different styles. Um, and one of them is just a bit more colorful and a bit brighter and a bit more spring. As you know, spring in the UK isn't really spring. We had snow two weeks ago, but it is now just getting hot, but I'll show you a few outfits that I've been wearing and a few outfits that I'm going to wear and just something colors that I like. So we'll get into the first outfit, which is a bit more fun and a bit of more of like a colder day, more for evening in spring when it's a bit cooler or just a cooler spring day in general. So we'll start from the bottom and on bottom, we've got a pair of spring summer 2017 um, Raph Simmons Oswegos. They are the bunny colorway. That on foot is really nice. It's a very nice spring shoe, especially in that transition because it is a bulky shoe and it's nice and bright and colorful and it just works really nicely with most outfits, especially with the trousers, which are the weekday salad trousers, the checkerboard. I did do these, these style perfectly with the pair of Oswegos. I love these to pieces. My favorite trouser at the moment, 100% just because of the drape over the shoe is absolutely beautiful. And I can't say no. Very nice outfit. It works very well, very well balanced. And then on top, it's kind of like a double layer. So I had wear a white long sleeve t-shirt with this t-shirt over the top and just a plain white t-shirt underneath long sleeve with my Ada Era Spring Summer 17 top. Um, this is made out of like a peak material, I think it's called. So it's like a polo knit material. It's got a nice high neck and it's kind of like an inside out t-shirt. So the stitching is on the outside here. Um, and the graphic kind of reminds me like a uh, Balenciaga tee, kind of, you can see where the inspiration has come from, from Ada Era. They were obviously heavily inspired by Vetemont and Demna's work as well at Balenciaga. So you can tell the inspiration for this t-shirt and it just works really well. I love this look, it's really good. I sometimes match it up with my um, Travis Scott band tee and that works very nicely as well. So that's an alternative t-shirt. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice piece and the t-shirt kind of sits just over the top and it kind of has a baggy aesthetic throughout. If you do get a bit more of a fitted long sleeve um, that fits you nicely and you have this baggy t-shirt over the top, it works very nicely as well and maintains that baggy slim sort of silhouette throughout. Very nice, it just balances out the outfit perfectly. And I'll throw a few shots in now of me wearing the outfit. So up next is more of like a similar sort of outfit, same color coordination throughout definitely, but this is for more like colder days as well. And um, this is a very different style. Instead of having drapey trousers, these trousers are cropped. I will start from the bottom again though and I'll just talk about each piece. So again on foot we have got a very chunky shoe and that is an Air Force One. Again white. Throughout the entire year you can wear these. I love this shoe to death, I'm beating it to death. I might get a new pair soon but these only cost me 20 quid on eBay. So it's not a huge deal at all. Obviously versatile in any single like outfit that you really want to bring it into. On bottom, we've got a pair of Top Man Carpenter denim. I got this from TK Maxx for £17. It's a contrast stitch black denim carpenter trouser. So you've got the hammer like holder on the side and a hammer hoop there. I love contrast stitch and I love carpenter trousers. I did actually get a small leg. So these are 30 legs. So they do just sit just above my ankle, which I do actually kind of like, and I never thought I would, but as you can see, it's top man there, size 30S. So it's a bit smaller. Um, I'd wear it with my tactical belt because I just love it. I love this piece. It's really, really nice. They're really comfy as well. And when you wear them in, once you've worn them in, they like really soft and drapey and have that sort of, obviously, because they're slightly cropped as well, just shows off the shoe very nicely. Very, very good piece. And if you didn't get these, I recommend looking for them on Depop, they're amazing. And finally on top, we've got a double layer again. It's just a plain white t-shirt that kind of comes up under the bottom on my raw hem sweatshirt. I actually just cut this off. It's a size XL H&M sweatshirt that's been washed like five times, I think. I washed it, I washed it over four or five times um, just to make it a bit more boxy. Because when you cut the hem off on these, it, it tends to shrink a little bit more. So I cut that off. It's slightly a bit more cropped. And of course the sleeves are cropped as well. For some reason I put uh, pins on there which I'm going to move and probably move up the arm. I just wanted to try something out but I'll probably remove that for the look. But yeah, it's just a plain white t-shirt. It's a very plain outfit and the colours are matched throughout so I really like that. It just works really well. And it, I, I really like this outfit because it's just perfect for spring weather. Um, you don't get too hot or you're not too cold in this so it just works very well. So yeah, I'll throw in some more shots again. So 
this outfit is more color coordinated and it's a bit more brighter. This is the more springy, like a bit hotter days, like today, for example, when it's actually hot in spring. But this is the shoe. We've got a pair of Vans Anaheim purple and black Vans, just a pair of old schools, very comfy. I love the color, I need to clean them a little bit, but the purple is amazing. I really like the color. And then on bottoms to match it, we've got a pair of um, like little like pajama bottoms but they are just a pair of purple checkered trousers that are very drapey from Urban Outfitters. They went into the sale for 18 pounds, so if you do see them, just pick them up. Very drapey, I do crop them now and then, I can either have them drape over the shoe or just sitting just above them. Very, very nice, I love this, just a nice bright bold pattern. And then finally for the t-shirt, it's probably my favorite t-shirt at the moment, and that is my Butter Goods Worldwide t-shirt. Just a simple graphic on the front, but then on the back is where all the magic is happening. You've got a whole bunch of different cartoons and of course it's got Felix the Cat so I had to buy it because it had Felix the Cat on it um, and Snoopy as well so they're my two favorite cartoon characters so kind of kind of I kind of had to if you know what I mean but I just love this design it kind of reminds me of there's a, there's a very similar tattoo artist I think it's 420 European something um, I'll post his into here but that sort of style of art of tattoos and I really like it as a graphic on a t-shirt very very cool design but this is obviously for summer, what more hotter days because this is a lighter outfit in general. And I'll just throw some shots in now. That has been my three outfits. I was gonna do four, but I felt like it was a bit more overkill. If you do want me to make more of these, I'm going to make a couple more videos about festival outfits and summer outfits in general. I've already had a few people asking me about that, so I'll get into that at one point. I still am trying to reach 300 subs, so if you can subscribe to the channel and make my birthday special because I'm trying to reach it for the 18th of April, which is my 19th birthday. So when we reach 300, it'll be amazing. Really, really good feeling for me and a good birthday present as well. I'm going to start doing one video a week as well because I've got quite a bit of work coming in and it's going to be quite stressful and I don't want to let YouTube take over my life when I've got university work to finish. So I might as well finish that first. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.